Hi all, so today's video I would like to introduce how to start an Azure Data Engineering career in, in any from any of the stream you are coming from. So that is the topic. So this is the most requested video because people are really want to switch from any career stream to the cloud because cloud is, um, is, an, uh, is a hot topic right now. Okay, you already know, right? So that is the reason people are eagerly to watch the videos and they are ready to learn it. They, some, some people are paying huge money to learn this Azure. There is no, we don't need to pay such kind of money in any kind of course because YouTube is available and Udemy courses are there and the Microsoft learning platform also there. So that is the reason I think I can prepare, I can create one video to help the people to come into the Azure data engineering journey. So the first of all, we want, if you are preparing or if you want to really want to switch into the Azure journey, there are, uh, you want to become Azure data engineer, two kind of exams are there, AZ-900 and DP-900. The AZ-900, I will tell you the first, the AZ-900, the AZ-900 is the exam which more focused on the infrastructure side, like uh, the scaling up, the scaling uh, out means uh, once the data uh, means once the uh, pro web, web application we host into the cloud definitely as per the requirement we want to increase the CPU and storages etc right so that is the reason more infrastructure side it is focused on the AZ-900 but if you if you want to become a data engineer you want to take dp900 so that is the best exam you want to become a data engineer so data engineer in the dp900 they are focused on uh, how a data solution or how the data we can transform using this azure store azure cloud for example you have a huge amount of data for example 1 million or 2 million of data for example two kind of data two application one client come your side and ask you to build two kind of application the first application they want a schedule type for example they updated one file in each each day in 7 a.m you want to process it and store into the sql server that is the first application and the second application they want to stream live there's a gaming application they, they develop a gaming application they want to host the gaming application in the cloud so that is the second one the, these two applications are two different one the first one is the batch wise that means they have a fixed time schedule there's 7 a.m. in the morning they updated the document nothing in between right so there is a fixed time so that is the uh, main reason it is under the batch category and the gaming means live streaming live online gaming so that time definitely you want to process the data once the clients are doing or the uh, consumers are doing or they are doing the gaming so definitely that time itself the answers will get into another because like a group gaming okay so that is under the stream streaming uh, data so once we know the client application or once we get the uh, requirement from the client as an architect they want to design these applications which services are used to implement these kind of system for example the first system they are updating one document in the morning so they can uh, prefer the there is a schedule trigger we can we can uh, set there and uh, there is a 7 a.m in the morning it will process and uh, reach until the stream means in the power bi report or something okay so that is the first thing the architect we can design the second one is the group live uh, online gaming so definitely the architect want to suggest use to kafka that means the streaming like they want to uh, we can use the streaming in different time but we need to provide an optimized solution means fast efficient less latency kind of things right then only we will get a good response from the client so these kind of things we can get an idea from the dp900 and uh, in the dp900 they mainly focused on the what are the dp st means uh, storages built or storages or services which help to process the data for example blob storages blob storages queue file system which helps to store the data etl means uh, extract 
um, transform and load right uh, extract we can extract using and uh, Azure function app so that is the one which help to trigger kind of thing we can use and um, uh, storage as we already mentioned then there is one more option we can use uh, like uh, data bricks okay data bricks that will help to transform the data and the last one we can load with the help of this one and we can report it with the help of power bi so the complete solution or how it work we can use the synapse also at the end for the uh, means once we process the data and load and save in a particular place so that kind of synapse also is an important role so these kind of things we can get an overall idea in the dp 900 exam so the first one is storages uh, there are different kind of storages are there and once the storages we can use the data bricks to transform the data different kinds of transformation we can apply and the Azure synapse analytics to store again the transform data you can use you can replace this data bricks with the Azure synapse that was also de depends upon the application and uh, uh, power bi to report once you store the good quality data in your databases definitely you can report like a attractive dashboards right so that we can use with the help of power bi this chain of action or this kind of uh, uh, sequence we can we get an overall idea in the dp900 so in the dp900 you will get an overall idea how the data work and the basic component and which services you need to use and one more thing the sql and the nosql nosql and the different kinds of thing we can use uh, that we get the idea um, yeah so these are the main thing uh, we get the dp 900 then we are moving on the dp 203 so that is kind of advanced level. that's an associate level once you get an overall idea of the dp data system or azure portal data system we need to deal with the different kinds of uh, problems and how to handle it and which system which Azure service will help optimize the solution to provide so that we need to focus on the DP 203 so that is the overall idea about how we can move into the Azure data engineer once you complete DP 900 DP 203 you can get an idea or you you are an Azure data engineer associated okay so that is the flow i think the coming days i think we can more focus on the labs because theory we will get a lot of notes i will provide a lot of notes uh, i think i can uh, add one a whatsapp link whatsapp group link in this description box if you are really interested you can join it i will share some documents also for the theory part you can learn it from the notes and the youtube videos but once you because in the coming videos we want to focus on the real labs how it is work it will take some time but i definitely post the continuous videos then i'm on the preparing on that i think november 10 2022 i can i can open the group also if you're really interested you can join the group yeah okay thank you guys if you have any doubt let's comment below definitely i will reply and you can ask in the whatsapp group also if you have any doubts and all then bye